Welcome back to the program, and we are down to the final two beers in the 12 Brews of Christmas 2023. Uh, they are both out of Ellicottville Brewing Company, out of Ellicottville, New York, and what was that other town? Little Valley, New York. Um, these are both collaborations with the Platters uh, Chocolate Factory. Chocolate Factory? Are they going Chocolate Factory? Yeah, Chocolate Factory. Just makes it sound so much better, doesn't it? Uh, the Platters Chocolate Factory. Uh, looks like they've been in business on the back here. It says 85 years uh, for the um, Platters Chocolate Factory. And these guys have collaborated, I don't know, I guess numerous times, because I've had at least one or two collaborations with Ellicottville Brewing and uh, Platters um, Chocolate Factory. Uh, the one I can really remember a couple years back, a few years ago, it was a um, raspberry truffle stout, which is, I believe it was very good. I don't remember a lot about it, but I know it was good. Uh, this one here is a black raspberry truffle blonde ale. Black Raspberry Truffle Blondel. Coming in at 6.5% alcohol by volume. Do not know the IBU on this one right here. Um, Blondel, Black Raspberry Truffle. That just sounds very interesting, okay? I'm going to crack it open, get a pour on here, and hopefully you've watched uh, the other uh, 10 reviews that are available for this year's uh, 12 Brews Christmas. We'll crack it open, get a pour on it here. I don't know, I guess this is a semi-tulip glass, I guess, Christmassy glass, whatever. This is what we're going to use here. So, uh, it's, it looks like a Blondel. You know, got the uh, you know, lighter color to it. It would have been wild if it was like chocolate or raspberry looking or something, but definitely uh, got the Blondel appearance to it. Uh, not quite two fingers ahead. We do got some... Uh, there's some fisheye bubbles, some compact bubbles popping away in there along the edges. Uh, for the most part, there's a fairly nice frothiness to this. Okay, look at that there. Yeah, pretty much looks like a Blondel, right? Okay, so I get like a mild yeast um, aroma, but a fruitiness. And I'm going to say the fruitiness is pretty much raspberry. Digging into it, really, uh, it does have that, um, like, expensive chocolate covered raspberry. I'm talking you bite into a chocolate candy and it's like just a creamy, creamy raspberry. That's what it reminds me of as far as the nose. It actually smells pretty good. I know there's probably a lot of traditional Blondel people out there that are having a fit over something like this. But I do like that sweet, that sweet raspberry chocolatiness. It, it smells really good, so let's get a drink on this thing. Soft light body uh, mouth fill, uh, medium uh, carbonation. You know, it's, it's it's really not bad. What's wild is you get that bready blonde L yeasty breadiness, but playing right in there. It just tastes like there's a black raspberry piece of candy in here. Chocolatey, raspberry. This one's different. This is, this is different. Wow. Blondel, black raspberry, truffle. You get all that. You get the black raspberry sweetness. You still have a little bit of that breadiness, a little bit of that yeastiness in there. Um, Lighter body, soft body, moderate carbonation, pretty solid. Uh, it's a nice change up really. Uh, some of the holiday beers, not stout, milk stout, winter L's, anything like that. Um, just a blonde L with chocolate, raspberry, truffle. That's wild. 
Uh, I'd recommend this. You had it before. Let me know what you think about it. Uh, you know, it's good. It's good. Is it my favorite? No, but it's different, unique, and it tastes good. So, uh, can't really go wrong with that. Anyhow, like, subscribe, comment. Check me out on social media. Thanks for watching.